GoToWebinar is the grandfather of webinar software. But is it still relevant today? And does it actually help you to run engaging webinars in this honest GoToWebinar review we will cover? The webinar setup, the live webinar interaction and presentation tools, the webinar recordings and replays, the analytics and data exports. You will learn the most important pros and cons of GoToWebinar. So let's jump right in. All the modern webinar software today are browser-based, but not this old dog. GoToWebinar still requires for you as the host and all the attendees to download and install the desktop software in order to join the webinar. So this is a problem, actually. It's a problem because you are going to lose some webinar attendees because some people just don't want to clutter their computer with random software. And second, some people can't download and install software on their work computers. GoToWebinar is known to be reliable and stable because of their desktop application. But today's web-based technology is sufficiently advanced that there are browser-based webinar software out there. We'll get to that part later, so stick around. GoToWebinar comes bundled with other event type options. For example, automated webinars using pre-recorded videos, webcasts as a one-to-many broadcast, meetings using the GoToMeeting software, which is also automatically included. If you have ever attended a GoToWebinar event, you will notice that the registration pages look pretty much the same every time. That's because when you're setting up the webinar, there are very little customization options for the registration page. You cannot change the layout, you can't add a video, you can only add a small 200 by 200 featured image and change the colors a little bit. On the upside, you can actually add custom questions to the registration page. You can add your own questions and make them required or not. What about the webinar emails? This is the webinar reminder email that the attendees would be receiving. And as you can see, the focus of this email is instructions on how to join the webinar. One thing GoToWebinar has done well is that you can segment your webinar follow-up emails based on attendance. You can send uh, an email to your attendees and the ones who didn't attend your webinar. You can craft a separate message. One unique feature about GoToWebinar is that you can include a certificate of attendance to your webinar follow-up email. This is an automatically generated PDF which will be sent to each attendee to make your webinar feel more important. Now, let's take a look at the live webinar room and the audience interaction tools. I'm now in the GoToWebinar live webinar room and on the right hand side, I'll have the webinar controls. Let me just go ahead and start the broadcast. The broadcast is now starting. So the webinar controls are, for example, what the audience can see, uh, some sharing options, uh, dashboard, attendees and so on. So I've just started sharing my webcam and it's gonna be in a separate window like this. In GoToWebinar, you cannot upload your slides. You would have to screen share and then open your PowerPoint and share your slides from here. You might think that this webcam preview blocking your slides is a bit annoying and you would be absolutely correct. So I'll just move this out of the way for now. This reminds me of Windows 95. Remember that? The drawing tool. I'm going to choose the pen and I'm going to choose a different color and draw stuff on the slides. I can also use the highlighter to highlight stuff. I can uh, use a spotlight just as a, like a laser pointer to point something out or arrows to emphasize something like this. As you'd expect, you can share file handouts and share a specific pre-uploaded video with your audience. This would also appear on a different undocked team. Welcome back to Whiteboard Finance. My name is Marco and I'm here to help. The downside is that the, the video would start just from the beginning. I cannot start at a specific time. This is a seven minute video. I want to show like a 20 second clip at the middle of the video. And I can't even seek to the specific part. 
also for the audience i am immediately automatically muted when the video starts so this is not at all what i wanted to do during your webinar presentation you might want to uh, pause at one point to emphasize something on the slides and go full screen with the webcam for that you would have to go to sharing and click stop sharing your screen and then you would go full screen with the webcam however it doesn't show up on the audience view the audience view should be showing how the audience the attendees experience it and how they would see everything so this is how i would see the entire webinar as an attendee if the host resizes their webcam, it doesn't show up for me. Uh, I, as an attendee, can actually resize how I would like to see the webcam and how big I would like to see the slides. If the host stops sharing their screen, the webcam would go full screen, just like this. And they can go back to sharing their slides, like this. As a host, I can launch uh, polls that I've pre-configured and uh, this would appear to all the attendees. When the polls will be launched for the attendee, uh, it will be like this. Uh, the screen sharing and the webcam will be paused and only the poll will be visible. A word about GoToWebinar stability. The polls have been launched, but as I'm clicking here, I cannot vote. So something is wrong. I'm gonna raise my hand and ask for help. For example, I can ask, I can't vote, and the host can answer me. Once the voting is completed, uh, screen sharing and the webcam sharing is resumed. This is just to put all the attention on the polls until they are closed. The attendees can ask questions during the webinar, but they would be private. The attendees cannot see each other's questions for some reason. For the host, the questions would appear under the questions tab in this extremely small, tiny crack where you have to kind of see what, what the questions are. You, you, you have the option to undock the questions panel and then you would have a readable format. You can type an answer here for each question and send it to them privately. However, probably others might have the same kind of question as well. So typically at the end of the webinar, I wanna take questions and I have to read the entire question and then answer it. I can't display it on the screen. This window over here and this window over here, the audience cannot see it like I do as the host. The audience will have an entirely different kind of view. This is how the chat works. You as the host, you can send a message to all the attendees but they cannot write a message publicly. They can only send a private message to you. One good thing about the live webinar tools is the attentiveness rating, which shows you what percentage of your attendees have the GoToWebinar application on top of everything else. So you can exactly track when are you losing your audience's attention and it will drop like this if they are minimizing their application and uh, not paying so much attention anymore. I can go to the attendees tab and see exactly who is not attentive. You might wonder what happens if the webinar timer runs out. So my webinar is about to end like this and it just goes over time a little bit. So that's a good thing. All your live webinar recordings will be under the video library. For all your webinar recordings, you can uh, download the webinar video file, you can share them or edit the video itself. You can trim out some specific parts from the webinar recording and you can use the edited webinar recording video to create an automated webinar out of it. First off, under the webinar analytics dashboard, you will have a webinar attendance overview from all your sessions. But most of the data is buried under the reports, which are different spreadsheets that you can generate about the webinars. For example, a session overview report gives you a comprehensive overview of everything that happened during a particular webinar session. In the report spreadsheet, there's data about the attendance rate, the attentiveness, the polls, the Q&A, and much more. The GoToWebinar analytics is pretty decent in a sense that there is a lot of data about your webinars that you can access. But the analytics dashboard itself is pretty limited and most of the data is inside the spreadsheets that you have to generate and download. 
what does it all cost? Let's take a look at the pricing. The cheapest option for GoToWebinar is the light package with just under $60 per month, which seems really attractive, but don't get fooled because you cannot host standard events with the light package. Standard events are basically live webinars. And if you can't do that, what's the point? You can only do webcasts. The cheapest package for actually running webinars is the standard package. And you'd have to cough up $130 this is definitely a very steep pricing for a webinar software that has such outdated design, clunky user interface, and lack of decent marketing features. Stick around until the end of this video and I will share with you two webinar software that are better in feature quality design and have a lower price. All right, so let's summarize the most important pros and the cons. The most important pros are First, in addition to live webinars, you can host automated webinars, webcasts, and they will also throw in the GoToMeeting uh, video conferencing software so you can have regular video meetings with your team. Second, your audience's attentiveness will be monitored during your live webinars, so you will know exactly when are you losing your audience's attention. And third, the webinar analytics dashboard and the downloadable spreadsheet reports give you tons of insights. The most important downsides for GoToWebinar are first, all your attendees have to download and install a software just to join the webinar. Second, you can't really customize the registration page. You can only add one small featured image and you cannot track the conversions. Third, the live webinar interface looks seriously outdated and it's missing some important features like the live offers. Fourth, you cannot see how your attendees are actually experiencing the webinar. Also, you cannot upload your slides straight to the platform. You would have to screen share them. And finally, considering all this, the price is definitely too high for GoToWebinar. But I do want to recommend some really great alternative webinar software for you that have done a fantastic job. If you are running webinars to promote a course or a product, then I do recommend choosing Webinar Jam instead. The audience interaction tools are far superior and it comes integrated with some really great marketing features. Check it out over here. Another great choice is GetResponse. That's actually an email marketing software, but you can run webinars on it as well with excellent quality. Since they're focused on marketing, the platform has great marketing features and presentation tools. Check out the review here. Thanks for watching.